hello from frog booger <laughs> so i didn't have time to make my sit down vlog but now in the next 24 hours i'll have three performances of three different shows so i thought that would be cool to share with you um it's 9 20 i think right now on a friday and usually at this time i'm already in my car uh, or at the office already but today uh, i decided to sleep in because well show uh so i'm just gonna go make some myself some coffee um if as you can see it's a beautiful day this is a view from my kitchen window i love this white plant tree whatever so yeah i'm making myself some coffee this is like the best thing one of the best things i ever bought it's uh it cleans the water because we have a lot of scale in it so this is awesome anyways um i'm gonna make myself some coffee uh you know take a moment for myself uh read a bit and then get ready and go into the office and be at the theater the whole day basically but i'll show you the coffee's brewing and this machine must be one of like the best gifts I ever got from my boyfriend. It's so like it helps me so much in the morning. And while my coffee is getting ready, uh the next thing I always do is put something in my beautiful diffuser. Oh wait, I just have to see the mark for the water. Yeah. So in the morning I always like to put something to wake me up and lime is definitely one of my faves. Uh, so usually, very often actually, it's lime and pine. I just love this combo. Yes! If this doesn't wake me up, like nothing will. <laughs> Look at this beast. So always when I have a performance, I kind of like to spoil myself a bit. So I'm just, I'm still at home. I'm still in my jammies. I ordered breakfast uh, through Volt because like, it's the best think ever uh so i love english breakfast i love these like baked beans so i'm indulging myself a little bit uh always do that before a performance uh watching some netflix and then i'm gonna go get ready for life <laughs> so welcome back to our dressing room uh we actually have another rehearsal going on on stage so i can't prepare my stage right away um when you work at a private theater, then you don't have the whole crew to prepare everything for you and you just go on stage. I have to actually do everything. Of course, not alone. I have a great technician technician and a team, but I have to check if my, all of my props are here. Um, so let's see. So we have this like a cool uh, checklist with every show that we have, that you know, every prop, every costume, so we don't have to know all of that by heart. Oh, look, hi, Bunga, uh, in the mirror. So I just have to find mine. Here we are. And let's go through the checklist. This is basically my scenography. Uh, the policy of our theater is that everything has to fit in a van. So the minimum scenography, and this is actually all I need. Uh, and now let's go find my costume. You see, you see we have like labels where everything is, so I don't have to open every wardrobe. So it's here, a lot of costumes. And this is mine for this show. A lot of these are mine actually, <laughs> but for this show, this one is, the first one, and I like to prepare everything for myself as if I would for other actors, so everything goes... Oh, this one is empty. Everything goes here, so before the show, I just take everything from the rack. Um, here we are. That's it. I'm barefoot, so no shoes, and that's ready for me for later. Thank you, Booga. <laughs> and this is our little kitchenette that we have in the theater. Uh, as, as, as you can see, we have a microwave. We used to have something to cook on. We don't have that anymore. Um, and here is most of my prop because I, uh, I use a lot of flour in this show. So we have to wash everything after it. So just going to take all of it and prep that. So I went through my checklist. Everything is here. Good thing I had it because I would forget one very important thing. So checklists are awesome, although I'm not a list fan anyways uh i get actually a fun story i broke a prop uh the last time i did this show because i have these bats that i like pound with and in the middle of the show i realized that 
I broke this. Well, yeah, thank God I bought uh, a spare one before. So thank you, Past Puga. Good job. Uh, so yeah, this is ready. You know, I'm waiting for the rehearsal to be done on the stage and then I can go set up. Uh, but now I'm going to go have lunch and just chill uh, a bit. And now it's around 3.30 p.m. The show is at 7. So I have time to do some work done too. I didn't do my morning routine today because I slept in. Uh, so I'm going to meditate, journal a bit, read a bit, do all the things I didn't do in the morning. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you that. So so the stage is set that's it it looks quite simple but that's the beauty of it um this is our auditorium usually we can host 150 people um today not that much uh covid but we're working i'm grateful for that um and yeah that's it the piano is here because i have live music in the show which is awesome and So I'm in the dressing room, time for some makeup. Um, I'm really not good at putting makeup on and thankfully, well for this one, I just really need like a foundation because well, my face is still in the face of teenager. Um, so yeah, I love using this like silicone things to, uh, to apply a foundation because nothing stays on them and they're reusable, so environment. Um, so yeah, I just do that. Um, I'm actually using... Wait, I have to turn on the light. Wait. Better. Anyways, I'm actually using Young Living's 7 Mineral line. It's cruelty-free, plan cruelty-free, flea, <laughs> plant-based. It's super, super light and I love it on my skin when I perform because it doesn't clog my skin and I feel like it breathes, but it still covers. So I love that and it doesn't melt on my face under the lights. So super important. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Let's just like, let's quicken this, shall we? There am I. It's good. Since I don't know how to put on makeup, I think it's fine. Oh, I think I should do my eyebrows a bit. So now it's like 20 to 7. My performance will probably start at 7.10 because the school is gonna be a bit late. They just, you know, told us. So, um... I don't know how to do this. I just do it a bit so because usually my eyebrows are non-existent on stage when all the lights turn on. So I just uh, do like this. I'm super bad at, at makeup. Anyways, but this is like on stage, it looks okay. Now it looks just so too much, but it's okay. So now I'm gonna, so it's 22, so I'm gonna drink my Ningxia. This is like a power drink based on, based on wolfberry, uh, wolfberries or goji bobbies. Goji bobbies, oh my God, that's in Croatian. <laughs> Anyways, Wolfberries, uh, it has a lot of good stuff in it. It's great as an energy drink, but it's like super only plants uh, and it's very, very healthy. So I usually, you know, I switched my uh, afternoon coffee with this when I order it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to use my oils, which is Joy and Orange, which is just Joy, of course. And also a Valor blend with frankincense because that like gives me Valor and calms me down and just gives me courage. So that's it. I'm going to do my hair and go into costume and almost show time. Done with the show. It was good. I'm happy. Ningxia obviously worked because I'm broke. I broke like 90% of my props. I was like, when I was just like falling around. Well, thank God, you know, they're just regular like thingies for the kitchen. So, and wooden, so they're not expensive. But still, in the middle of the show, I was like, okay, this one broke too. So, ow. So maybe no Ningxia before this performance. I don't know. Anyways, um, this is my costume. Wait, I'll show you. So this is my costume. It's actually a part of, this is all a part of Croatian national Garmin. Uh, this not, obviously. So yeah, I'm happy. Uh, the next performance is in like, wait, let me switch this around. You know, look, look at my feet. I have a lot of flour on the, in, on the stage and I do like actually I make bread on it. So I walk all around, look at that, woohoo. 
So the next performance is in 14 hours. Another performance. And this a second performance, like not the same one. So maybe I should go to sleep and eat something. Yes. Hey ho, the glamorous life of washing my feet. Very glamorous. Hi guys. So it's almost 8 a.m. I have my coffee and it's snowing outside. I can't even. Like we had like 17 degrees Celsius the other day and now it's snowing. Like what's going on? Um. Anyways, I had a kind of a rough night. My dog was waking up every two hours like on the spot. So... Not a lot of continuous sleep, but that's okay. Um, I did my morning reading, I meditated, uh, wrote in my journal. Now I'm gonna do some short yoga to wake up the body and then back to the theater. But first, more coffee. So at the theater, having my breakfast, that's awesome. <laughs> You live at your theater like I have everything ready if I don't have time for breakfast at home. This is actually like children's cereal somehow. It's called Chocolino and it's awesome. So I'm gonna get ready, uh, get, you know, prepare the stage. Uh, I'm gonna actually show you because the scenography is really, really cool. So the stage is set, as you can see. This story is called, the sh this show is called The Story of a Wheel. And then we have, wait, I'll show you. So we have all these kind of different things that have a wheel, inventions, you see, uh, I don't know how you call this in, Korea, in English. We have a little elevator um, that you can, everything is movable, uh, so children see how things work. We have a little clock where our wheel lives. Look how cute that is. Um, he has a little bed. And also, we have a very, very cool, um, how do you call this? A mill, I think. So, you know, it this turns and I can actually turn the light on here. I don't have to find it. Yeah. See? It's so cool. So today's show is actually a show for babies aged 18 months or up. And I love playing for those kids because this, you know, what you've seen, the scenography and everything, they're always in such awe that those things move and the light shows up and um, you know they really want to explore it then and it really makes me feel so happy because every time I take something out new they're always like oh, wow so yeah it's really a, a lot it brings me a lot of joy off to get into costume so for this show I have to wear these because I spend a lot of time on my knees it's super important to be low so that you're at the ch children's level, but it can be really hard on the knees, you know, because I'm, I'm low all the time. So these are lifesavers in these shows for kids, like lifesavers. And that's it. I'm ready for the show. I have like a lot of wheels in my pockets. Um, a lot of like, I also have like, like this. And the fun thing is I have cars as well. <laughs> So, yeah, ready for the show? See you later. So the first show is done. Um, it was really nice. A bit tough, but nice. You know, when you have little kids who are in different moods every day, then it's always interesting. No show is the same. And now we have the second one. It's actually a birthday party show. I have to say, of course, we all, you know, we have limited number of people and the seats are separated and all of that. So it's not like we're uh pretending like nothing's happening um i love this show actually funny story that's what i wanted to share with you so first the first show i did today the story of the wheel uh my mom acted in that show from 2003 and i basically inherited that show from her and this show is story of a cloud and that's a super funny story because that was the first uh that was the first show we ever did for children at this age in 2002 and my dad is the author of it and he acted in it and then uh, he bought the um, 
the rights to the show from an Italian author. And then when I was supposed to take it over, uh, he wrote to this Italian guy and wrote like, my, my daughter would like to, you know, continue performing this show. Um, blah 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 and then this guy was like yeah that's fine my son took over the, the same show in Italy from me so this is like a show that keeps on uh, going and it's really beautiful well now the light is kind of dim but I just want to show you like I'm in awe of artists that can do stuff like that so look at this so basically each of these uh, suitcases is a little part of the world so here we have as you can see what it is it's like land of ice and we actually can make like the snowfall so we have the penguins here um then here we have like just like europe <laughs> just a plane look how beautiful that is and then my favorite part is definitely the jungle look at that it's so amazing and oh, wait and i can actually like take out the trees i mean it's just it blows my mind every time I open it. And then we have the desert as well with the little pyramid. And this sand is actually from Egypt. How cool is that? My parents brought it from Egypt. So it's just such joy to perform these shows because every time I open these suitcases, like children are like, <gasps> and like parents are even, what? And that is actually our aesthetic, you know, not going for the classic, you know, the magic is in the beauty and, it's very simple, so I can travel to anywhere with these suitcases, but it's beautiful, and I love that. So, after work, home. So that portion of the day is over. I'm a bit tired, but mostly because the weather has been crazy and it's been changing. And look at these panda, panda eyes. I always forget, I put makeup on and then I forget about it. And then during the show, I'm like, I tell children in the beginning of the show, like to wake up their eyes. And then we do that. And I'm like, good job, Booga. So gonna drink some tea, gonna eat something, just chill. And then a rehearsal in the evening. So it's the weekend is not over yet. Uh, but yeah, uh, rest. Done. <laughs> um, and we had a rehearsal that I didn't record myself singing because I actually went live on Instagram uh, for my session so I can't wait to get to bed uh, but I still have to do my wardrobe I do it with this this is actually my DIY um, clothes detergent I make like four and a half liters of it uh, it's really great and it works so uh, I like DIYs actually. I didn't know that about myself until recently. So that's what I'm gonna do. Some adulting stuff. Um, and I'm gonna go to bed. And I think I'm gonna finish this video here because tomorrow in the morning we're recording something at the theater about GDPR, so I can't show you much of that. Um, and I'll be the camera assistant. Um, leave in the comments below if there's something particular you're interested in that you would like me to show. Finally, my weekend has begun on a Sunday at noon. <laughs> so I just wanted to actually uh, show you this walk that I take almost every day. I kind of, um, you know, in the middle of the day, I always find a reason to go to the city. Um, so I just wanted to show you this beautiful park that I love walking through every day and just enjoying the sun. It's super cold today but it's beautiful so just wanted to share that with you before the end of this video look how pretty this is actually like in the middle of the city i'll show you this is our cathedral i don't know if you can see that right there that's our cathedral um so this is like really the center of the city and here before were ponds with fish for the cler clerisy clerics like for the bishop and guys to fish and that's why it's why it's called ribnyak which means a fish pond actually so yeah this is my everyday walk so just wanted to share a bit of sun and beauty and now we're gonna finish this video thanks for watching and i'll see you soon